Yeah, hi everyone. So today was a very good day. I went down to the British Army. I went down to one of their army bases. I have not been to an army base in probably about a year. I don't even know why. If you know what I'm like on a personal level, I, to be honest, I don't think anybody knows me because I'm very guarded with people. I say I'm a polite person. behavior over the past year well you know I haven't shown much commitment I'm 32 now and probably that's the biggest problem in my life I've never shown commitment to anything and yeah that's why I failed a lot in life you know I've definitely underachieved for someone of my intellect to you know, I'm a very bright guy got A, B's and C's and GCSE's without even trying, went to college, I dropped out after about a month and you know that was when I was 16 and ever since I've been drifting around this planet for 16 years so oh, you know I used to go to what did they call it army cadets I used to do that very briefly when I was young it was before I finished secondary school so probably when I was 14, 15 and you know looking back on my sad Looking back on my life of failures, you know, if I could relive my life, uh, you know, I should have joined the army at 16. And you know, I almost did, but I just didn't follow through. And oh, what station am I at? Is this the final station? I think it is. Oh, it is the final station. So yeah, I just have never shown much commitment in life, and. You know, as I say, I haven't been to the army in about a year. But, I mean, what can I do? Obviously, I've made so many mistakes in life where I haven't been committed to boxing and so on. And it's not that I can't fight. I, you know, I'm decent, but I just never showed the commitment. But I'm glad that my army career is back on track now. I'll tell you the truth, I don't like to lie. They said to me they're giving me one last chance. They said, you know, obviously you just disappear, you don't tell anyone, you don't answer calls, don't answer emails. You know, I told them, I said, with all due respect, Sergeant, I was abroad and I was in Eritrea, East Africa. But he said, you know, obviously that's not good enough. You should have told us you were going before you went. You know, and I said, look, you're right. I said, you know what, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to talk too much. I said, look, just give me, give me the chance. Give me one last opportunity. I'll prove myself. And, you know, they were saying, well, you know, you've said that in the past and you, you haven't shown commitment. I just said, look, we can go around in circles. If you want me to leave the army, I'll leave. I'll bring back all the kit. But if you give me this last chance, I won't let you down again. I know I've said that before, but, you know, this is my absolute last chance. And they've given me this opportunity. And, you know, when I was younger, you read these, I've read these books about the SAS, Special Forces Soldiers, I read the books, watched the films and, you know, it's something I wanted to do and, you know, I've still got the opportunity now thanks to the kindness of my unit. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they had kicked me out, I wouldn't blame them. I'd be very disappointed, but I wouldn't blame them. But I've just got to sort myself out, I've got to show commitment and, you know, obviously I've got a lot of natural talent as a fighter. But I can't just rely on that, I need to be committed, I need to train, I need to turn up for boxing training, MMA training, I need to turn up for my army sessions, but my army career is back on track, you know, I've got a lot of plans, I want to wipe out Shabab off the face of the planet, I want to wipe Daniel Kinahan and all these drug dealing gangs off the face of the planet, I'm the man with a plan to take out I want to take out Al Shabaab and Boko Haram and all these sort of people. And when I become Prime Minister, I'll get rid of all these people in, in, in two days. Well, it's not really difficult to deal with them. You just got to fight dirty like they do. You know, don't share any mercy. So there's a lot of things I want to do. I just want to give my regards to President Asaya Saforki of Eritrea. I'm going to Eritrea in May, so I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, obviously I wish I wish everyone well, everyone that's watching this video. 